This is the International A-Level P3 paper, Jan 2023. Question nine, it's a numerical solutions question. Um, we've got this, this curve C, uh, and the question really all about um, the fact that at this point, um, the tangent goes through the origin, and really we've got to find out where P is, or the X value is at P, uh, and they've, they've called it alpha. Um, so there we go. So a little bit about the e to the x squared first. It's not the same. Some people get confused. It's not the same as e to the x squared, because um, this would be e to the x times e to the x, which is either 2x. You can multiply these two together or uh, do e to the x times e to the x. Uh, if I put 3 in for x here, this would be e, e to the power of 9, and this would be e cubed times e cubed, which would be e to the power of 6. Um, so they're not the same. Uh, right, so we've got find y by dx to start off with. Um, so if I write it in this form, and I can use the chain rule, uh, so the dy by dx, I'll put the half in front, uh, and then I'll have that bracket to the power of one less, so minus half, and then I need to multiply by the bracket differentiated. Uh, don't need to worry about three, but uh, e to the x squared differentiated is e to the x squared times two x. Um, so I'll have uh, 8x in front and then e to the x squared. Uh, I'll simplify this a little bit. I've got 2 on the bottom and 8 on the top. So 4x e to the x squared. Why is that bracket the power of minus a half? That'll do for the two marks. Uh, you could write it like this with um, you've got a negative index there, put it on the bottom, or even with the square root sign, which would be my, my preferred form. Um, so we've got y, got dy by dx. Uh, it says point p. Uh, and it's got uh, x coordinate alpha, and the tangent says through p goes to the origin, show that x equals alpha is a solution to that equation. So I'm using x's rather than alphas. Um, now at p, the, uh, the dy by dx is equal to this, that's the gradient of p. But I can also work the gradient of this line out by doing uh, the y step over the x step. So that y divided by that x gives me the um, gives me the gradient as well, and that's going to be the same as the dy by dx um, at p. Uh, the y is uh, is this, and the x well is just x. Um, so uh, then rearranging this into that form, there's no fractions in here, so I need to get rid of the fraction. So I'll put the x up here, get four x squared e to the x squared, which I've got there, and I put this up here. Um, which means I'll just have what's under the square root sign, because I've got a square root without on the square root. And then I'll just take these two terms over to give me what uh, they asked for. They could have just said, um, show that uh, this is true, um, but they've, they've, they've written it in this form. This is about the same thing, really. Um, and then we've got to show alpha lies between one and two, so we need to demonstrate a change of sign. Uh, if we put x is 1 into here for x, um, we have 4 e to the 1, take away 4 e to the 1, take away 3, uh, which just gives you minus 3. And putting x is 2 in, um, we'll have 4 times 2 squared times e to the 4. So that'll be 16 e to the 4. And then we'll have uh, 4 e to the 4, take away 3, which is 12 e to the 4, take away 3. Definitely positive. Because uh, it's uh, 655, so uh, a considerable change in sign, really. Um, and make sure you write down at the end, it's, since it's continuous, there's a root in that interval. Um, the, uh, in the uh, specification, uh, the notation for the open interval, A to B, uh, you can write like this, looks like coordinates, but actually it means anything from 1 to 2, but not inclusive. Um, it's called an open interval. So sort of throw that in there. Um, all right, part D, show the equation of part B can be written uh, like this. Well, that's what we've got in part B, and that's what we're aiming for. Um, now, if we, if we look, there's, there's some instances, instances of X here, but if I try to make those the subject, um, I'd end up with some LNs, and I don't want that. So, uh, so it's this one that I'm going to uh, make the subject. So I'll get these two terms over because um, I want to isolate the x in here, and then divide by this e to the x squared. Um, so that'll just be 4x squared here, 
and this term just be four and this will be three e to the minus x squared which is looking promising uh, it's tempting then to divide by four um but because the halves on the outside that looks like the last thing we did is divide by two so so i'd rather take the root square root now because i'm looking for a square root so i'll do the square root of both sides first so that'll give me two x here with the square root of all that and then divide by two to get to uh, to get the required result um so you put this into an iteration form um so there's the value we put in and that's the value we get out um and we tell you to find x3 using x1 is equal to one um i would put one equals in the calculator uh, so that's sort of, sort of stored one in here and then type in a half the square root of four plus three e to the minus then answer squared uh, you should get 1.129 for that uh, and then uh, and you can press equals again to get the x3 uh, and that's 1.0997 to four decimal places and then we want uh, an accurate value for alpha so just press equals those and those times until the answer stops changing and uh, you should get 1.1051